Okay, thank you, Michael. Thank you so much. And now Florida is preparing for another storm. Yeah, the National Hurricane Center has been watching the Gulf of Mexico pretty closely. Those conditions were brewing for another storm. And now it looks like Florida can expect a second major hurricane in less than two weeks. This is Tropical Storm Milton. Right now, those wind speeds are at 60 miles per hour. It's moving very slowly east towards Florida at five miles per hour. And it's moving through a lot of very warm ocean water. So that is giving it the fuel to that it could strengthen it all the way up to become a category three storm by the time we get to Wednesday when it makes landfall. Now that means those wind speeds could be up to 130 miles per hour. And there's a little bit of uncertainty still baked into the storm about where exactly it's going to go and how strong that storm could be. For one, it's definitely possible that it could become a category four storm, so it could be even stronger. But look how wide that cone is. That represents the margin of error about where that landfall could be. So there's a possibility that in between now and Wednesday, it could veer further north and hit the Big Bend just like Helene did, or it could go far south, going all the way down to the Fort Myers area. And the forecast models are having a little trouble agreeing. Now, these are called spaghetti plots. Each one of these shows what each forecast model thinks is going to happen. At this point, a lot could still change. They're having a little bit of trouble agreeing, but even though there is that uncertainty, here's what we know. Florida has a lot of flood watches covering most of the state. The Governor Ron DeSantis declared a state of emergency for 35 counties in Florida. And right now there is possibly going to be life threatening storm surge. So life threatening conditions once again for Florida. Yeah, you and I have both lived on the East Coast and we know how quickly these storms can shift, right? I mean, Especially with the ocean water so <laughs> warm, it's essentially right. rocket fuel for these storms. Unfortunately, they could be, be uh, become even more common in the future.